Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this one we're going to be delving into VR uh, for the first time on this channel. I'm going to be doing a basic introductory video for how to set up, uh, sorry, how to set up your Oculus Rift in Unity. We'll be able to move around, pick up an item, chuck an item, uh, drop it, whatever, just interact with an object in the scene. That's the goal for this video. Um, obviously this is going from a completely empty project with nothing in it. We'll be uh, I'll be showing you how to enable the right settings to set up the VR and then how to import the right um, asset pack and set that up for your player so that you can use your hands to actually pick stuff up and move around with your controller. Um, for this video, obviously you'll need a VR headset, which um, if you came here without one expecting this to work, then I'm sorry to let you down, but uh, you kind of need one. Some people might be here to just see you know, what the development process is like for setting it up if they are looking to buy a VR headset. So obviously you're welcome here too. Um, this is more of a follow along tutorial uh, for people setting it up themselves, but it's completely fine for anyone else to be following along with it. Um, I will be doing some, obviously, like follow-up videos to this where we'll be um, adding, I don't know, weapons, sound effects, moving things, just creating like a mini project basically in VR. Uh, people can leave suggestions of what to try, but keep in mind, even though I've done quite a lot in game development um, for my own game, I I'm not experienced with VR and I understand it's kind of the same process but there's still more to it that I've never done before so I'm not going to be able to just make an amazing AAA VR game or anything like that but I'll gladly take suggestions and start learning it myself because the main thing is that I am also learning VR development as we speak. Um, I only got my VR headset within the last few months, uh, maybe last two months, uh, thanks to my wonderful Patreon, Michael, who has... Um, who bought me an Oculus Rift so that I'll be able to teach it to myself and make VR tutorials for you guys. So, you know, if any of you are here for VR tutorials, then obviously thank him, it means a lot. Um, so after I thank my Patreons, then I'm going to get into this video. So thanks to Michael, as always, Norwegian Viking, Paul Robinson, and Phil Bourne for their donations on Patreon this month. If anyone else would like to help support the channel, then the link is in the description below. But apart from that, let's get into it. So first things first, here's Unity Project. Um, I'm on version 2018.2.3. I have not gone to the new beta version because I'm not 100% certain if it is compa compatible. So I'm only going to guarantee that it'll work for you on this version. So feel free to try it on other versions and if it works, great. But if it doesn't, don't come back to me saying that it's not working because of a version mismatch or something. So just, just make sure um, this version works for definite, but you can also most likely check um, online somewhere to see what versions are supported anyway. So if you want to be safe, go for 2018.2.3, but I'm sure versions will work anyway. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, this is an empty project. Um, technically I'm lying because I've got uh, this Oculus folder. That's just because we're going to be downloading an asset from the store um, and that takes a while. So I don't want to sit here just with it downloading while I'm talking, uh, it'll waste too much time. So I've already imported that, but I will still show you what to import. So don't worry. And I made a floor material because I was messing around earlier. So let's start off by creating a plane. Uh, we'll call it floor. And we'll go and just set it to the origin. And we'll apply this floor material. Maybe make it a bit darker. Um, so we'll take this camera now. And this is the camera where our head will be. Now, we will be adding in a proper controller to move around and, you know, stand up and look around properly. But for the time being, this camera is just where we'll start. And the height of the actual camera will be the height of, you know, how high we hold the headset in our room. Or Because for the sake of this, I'm going to be just holding the headset in my hand rather than putting it on. Because otherwise, then I'll have to step away from my computer and, you know. So it'll be easy enough just to hold it in my hand. Now, if I press play, you'll notice nothing happens. It's just like a normal Unity project you've set up, nothing happens. If I pick up my headset and move it around, nof nothing's happening, right? We're just looking straight. So if you want to enable your headset to work, you have to go to File, sorry, Edit, uh, Project Settings, and Player. And then we can see here we have Virtual Reality Supported checkbox. So obviously make sure to check that. Uh, make sure your Oculus uh, is on there, and otherwise you can add it if it wasn't on there, but by default it is. And now if we go back um, to the scene, one other thing you've got to make sure is uh, for Oculus to run an application, you need to go to your Oculus um, software, which you'll have when you download and set up Oculus. You want to go to uh, Settings and make sure that on General, the Unknown Sources app uh, is ticked. If you are trying to play any game that isn't on the oculus store you'll need this checked to play it like if you're playing something on steam as far as i'm aware you need this checked um because when i was trying to play like beat saber or something it asked me to enable that otherwise i wasn't able to play it because it was an unknown source for um the store i don't know um i think now beat saber's on here anyway or it might have always been i, I don't know just make sure you got that setting checked and now if we press play what should happen is 
if I pick up my headset and start moving it around, uh, obviously the window's gone small, so let me just um, maximize this. So now, as I grab my headset and move it around, you can see actually that my I'm in the world. Now, I haven't put my headset on, but you can obviously tell by this movement, this is me jiggling my headset around. I can aim up at the sky, aim down at the ground, look to the side, look tilt. I can tilt it to the side, and it works just fine. So that's the simplest way to set it up, is just by enabling VR, um, and there you go, your headset works and rotates. The problem is you can't move around or interact with anything. You haven't got actual you know, support for anything. So what you need to do is you need to now go to the asset store, and you need to search for Oculus, because, well, presumably you're using the Oculus. This is all for the Oculus, if you haven't already tell. I don't know how to do it for the Vive, because I don't have the Vive, so, you know. Oculus integration, you want to go to this asset, and download it and then import it. So that's as simple as just pressing download and then import. When you press import, it'll get the package. I've already imported it, so I'm just gonna press cancel when this loads. But what'll happen is it'll have a gigantic list of all the scripts and like um, prefabs and stuff that it comes with. You'll just want to press import all. You technically don't need them all. Like, oh, there's all of that. That's what comes with it. Now I've got it all, so I'm not gonna press cancel, but you need to press import. And once you've imported it, and close the asset store. If you, if you don't have the asset store story, go to Window, General, Asset Store, or press Control 9. So let's get rid of that. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just going to back to the scene, actually. So we, have now the, we now have this Oculus folder with loads of stuff that I'm not going to go delving in there. We're just going to get what we need. So what you need to set up an um, Oculus like project with the built-in tools that they give you is you need to, uh, first of all, this camera, as you know, well, I'll press play again and go back to the scene. What you'll notice is... Um, if we select the camera and get the headset so it's first of all go straight to the ground because that's the origin and as I rotate it obviously the camera rotates as you can see in the scene but the problem is we're in the ground if I do pick up the headset I do go up and if I lower the headset I go down but there's a problem with going underground and it's just not ideal you know it works for just looking around but it doesn't do much so what we need is we need to actually add some more so first of all, we want to delete this camera. We want to use a special rig rather than the built-in just default camera. So the Oculus thing in here, we actually have a, um, I'm just gonna search it because it's gonna take me forever to navigate through and find it. We want to use the OVR um, player controller because the OVR player controller is the default prefab that they give you. It's like a player controller. It looks quite like it. We've got the carriage controller um, on here. They've got their own scripts in here, which you can actually go in and look at, which is quite nice. Um, and if we just go and place it on the, if we go reset, whoops. If we go and reset, and then maybe set the Y to one so it's on the ground. If I press play now, uh, this isn't fully set up yet, but what'll happen is, I'll get my headset now. So we're actually, as you know, it's on the ground. When I put my headset on my floor, I'm not actually going through the ground. I'm like close to the ground, but I'm not going through it. And as I lift my headset up, I am really high, just like I'm standing up in the world. Um, then again, this is all me just holding it, but it works now. Um, and as I said, we could actually go back to the scene and notice what's happening is the camera's moving, but it's like the play controller isn't doing anything. And if I grab one of my remotes, um, it's not actually going to do it yet. One sec, I need to go and grab my remotes. No, nothing's happening when I press anything on the remotes because the remotes aren't actually connected as such to our player object. It doesn't care about the remotes at the moment. Our hands don't exist in the scene or anything. So let's stop this. What we need to do is we need to first of all tell it when we move the um, camera around to actually move the player, like to rotate us. Uh, so we need to change some settings on the actual player object. So if we open it up, so let's open it up. So we get the rig. There we go, this is everything it's got. I mean, there's some more things to open up. But we want to go to the camera, which is obviously what we're using, the camera rig. So if we go to this, we notice that the tracking is on eye level. We need to put it on floor level because um, what will happen is when you set up Oculus when you first ever set it up in the software and it asks you to do all the calibration, you set your height, it'll use that um, rather than Unity trying to guess by your eye level. I'm not sure exactly how that part actually works on their end, but uh, the point is, this actually will, um, if we press play now, and I go, that now obviously my headset's on the floor. So if I undo that, and now I pick up my headset again, I need to actually select the um, player, sorry. Oh. 
Notice how when I move, I really need to uh, position this better in the scene. Um, as I move the my headset around, it's actually rotating around the um, player. It's, re it's really hard to do when I'm just dangling my uh, headset. <laughs> Obviously, it's pretty hard. Now, keep in mind, all this movement is relative to where the player currently is standing because we haven't currently got um, movement in. Like, uh, the player object can't currently move. Uh, we can move limitedly in the scene, uh, but it's not uh, perfect. That's not We haven't got it set up perfectly yet. It just rotates simply around this actual um, player. So, what we need to do is we need to... Um, let me find the button. Um, we need to go down here. Let me just stop this because we need to add stuff when it's not in play mode. We need to... Um, am I on the right object? No. <laughs> Where am I going? Play controller. Um, we want to add the camera constraint so that it actually doesn't just wander off on its own, basically. So if we get the camera rig and drag that in here, what it'll do is it'll stop the camera just wandering off from the player, basically. Um, that's all we need for that, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me just read through the boxes. The distance, we don't need to set anything. Um, we do want to set dynamic height, though, so that when we crouch... Um, whoops. So that when we crouch in the game, the actual player's object will be smaller. And the reason we do that, as you'll see, is so that maybe you want to crouch for a small gap in a game, and it'll actually let you do that. So, go back to the scene view. Now, my, my headset's on the floor, so as you see, it's very small collider on the floor. And as I pick it up, if it just... give it a second. There we go. So as I stand up, the actual... <laughs> this is really awkward to do. If I stand up, the actual collider and the camera moves up, and the uh, collider is scaled to that so that the top of the collider is where the head is so um if i was to put my headset on right now this would be a lot better to show well it wouldn't be better to show i need to get a webcam don't i um so i could easily show my point of view for this uh the point is it works as we go up and down your collider changes so you could kneel and go for a small gap and you can look around in the scene and it all works fine so let's put my headset down and now the last thing to do is to add the hands so what we need to do for adding the hands is we need to um go to the um, thing that's here, the tracking space, that's holding everything else, basically. Um, oh wait, actually, these already apparently have the uh, anchors on them, but they don't have the um, they don't have the scripts on them to actually, you know, deal with your hands. So what you need to do is you need to go to the um, so it's tracking space, the um, we need to add the OVR grabber. So, grabber bull is obviously something you can pick up, but the grabber is what goes on the. Um, we need to actually add the hands in avatar uh, left. Avatar. Grabber left prefab oh here we go it's got the grabber script on it yeah um we want to add that to the left hand oh that's the right hand isn't it no that's the left hand sorry let's add it to the left hand anchor um and then the grabber to the right hand anchor and then we've got right touch left touch we press play let me just have a test I mean, my remotes are low on battery, but um, uh, t -t -t minimize this. Go back to the scene. Now, as you see, if I'm moving my hand around in the scene, this is this is my controller moving around in the scene. It actually does move um, relative to the headset. So I, my headset's on the floor, but my remote's up. So if I pick my headset up and give it a second to get back again. I'm holding my um, remote up to my headset. I think I've actually placed it on the wrong, ob wrong object, but the point is it moves up and down, up and down uh, relative to the headset. So what we want is we want to go back. Um, this left hand anchor is not the right thing to attach it to because um, what's happening is we haven't added this 
local avatar object which has the um, actual like hands and everything so we can visually see our hands in the scene we want to put that on first so if I uh, take this grabber out take that grabber out and then add the avatar on to this tracking space and then now put the uh, on this avatar here we can put the grabbers and now we should actually be able to visually see them because that's got the shaders attached and everything for all this so now if I go back and pick it up you can actually see we've got the hand there in the scene now it'll be better if I go to game view on it uh, and get my headset and as you can see now I've got the hand in front of the headset I'm holding it in front of the headset if I press the um, buttons they aren't oops I think I don't know if it's because my remote's low uh, it could be because my remote's low that it's not actually doing the hand squeeze or anything um, but the hand is in the scene and if I go get my other remote and try and find that here it is there's my other hand in the scene so last thing to do is to make it so we can pick stuff up so let's go back um, what we want to do is we want to um, let me just go look at these scripts we don't want to change anything on them because uh, all we need to do now is add a grab script to the um, to something in the scene so if I uh, create a 3d cube and go you know, plunk it on the floor um, at a position of 0.5 and I go put it here or something and I make this um, grabbable and we add a rigid body so that it can actually like um, move around with physics. I should be able to, now this is the time I might have to uh, try and put on my headset. Um, let me just spin around, where is it? Oh, it's behind, okay. This is gonna be really awkward to do. Because <laughs> I've put the cube too far away. Um, I'm gonna put on my VR headset, one sec. So now I'm in the VR, I'm going to try and get close to this, um, or I can actually see my hands doing the animation now, I think it might just be in Unity, it doesn't show it. So the main problem right now is that this thing is too far away, so if I walk up to it using the um, joypad on my, uh, let me try and pick it up, I have now put my hand right into the centre of it and I'm actually holding the, uh, the cube now, and I hope you guys can see and hear me fine. Um, so I'm rotating my hand around now and I've actually got this cube. If I bring my arm close to me and flick it out and throw by releasing, it actually goes and it rolls off. Now if I go move up to it, I'll probably be able to throw it off the scene. So if I reach into it, which is where my chair is right now, so that's a bit awkward. Um, if I reach into it and grab it again, uh, and now I'll just throw it off to the end and it falls all the way down there to the end. Now if I actually walk off the end, I'll fall as well. And now I'm falling down from the scene. I've actually taken over the cube falling, and I'm going to keep falling. But anyway, it works. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm putting my headset back on now so you'll be able to hear me better. Um, that is how you actually um, set up a Unity project. We can grab this thing, chuck it off. It's got physics. We have the hands working. Just make sure you've got the um, base, the, the avatar before you put the hands on. I feel like they might actually still work without that, but that's visual, uh, visually correct. Now, um, yeah, so if you want to see any more of these videos, and obviously leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment on what you want to see. Uh, I hope you were able to set this uh, up for yourself and get something basic going. Um, so yeah, um, if you haven't already joined my Discord server, uh, leave a like, subscribe, I think, all the usual. Uh, but seriously, thanks for watching. See you next time, and goodbye.